Well, the rain that's moved across the south is in South Carolina now. Hey guys, I'm a forester here. It's still raining outside and so I'm making a video inside. Now one of my viewers commented about this Klotzley Walker 05. He liked this knife and wanted to see it again, so I'm going to give you a closer look. I won't say that much new about it, but I will talk about Klotzley's just in general. Now, I'm trying a different setup with my camera. I'm actually recording behind it. I've heard other people say they do this, and so I'm going to try it and just see how it works out. That looks like a prehistoric bird, doesn't it? Let me get it to where you can get a good look at it. I really love this blade shape. It's a good size, a good weight, titanium scales or handles. I like this Klotzley Walker 05. I liked it from the first time I saw it. And it's just as smooth as can be. Now I've heard a lot of discussion lately about these uh, liner locks or even frame locks with uh, titanium on steel and how they wear out. But I talked to, um, when I bought this Klotzley, I talked to, and I can't remember his name, he was one of the Klotzleys, the owner, and he said they purposefully use titanium, titanium liners because they feel like it gets more stick and it's a safer mechanism than steel on steel. You know, lately I've heard a lot about it needs to be steel on steel for, so it doesn't wear out and the liner walk its way across. But anyway, I just thought that was interesting. I actually talked to Mr. Klotzley and he said they purposefully uh, designed it with titanium on steel. Yeah, I've had this about a year. Now I will say I don't carry this as much as I thought I would. And I think it's something about the price point because I don't carry my Sabenzas either. If I get above a certain price point, I think I have a bear that creates a barrier for me to carry the knife. I'd much rather carry a mid-priced knife or a budget knife than I would a um, expensive knife. This is the first Klotzley I've ever owned, but I'm sold on them. And I'll show you two that I'm looking at. I guess you can see this, you can at least see the picture. But this is the Klotzley ACC M1, doesn't have a clip. This is one that I like and I almost bought, but it's fairly expensive for a small knife. And then here's another one, and this is the Klotzley Walker 06. And I like this, this knife. I want both of them eventually, but for the price of those knives, I could get two knives that um, you're gonna see one here in a few minutes. And the other one that I already unboxed the other day the uh, Benchmade Triage. All right, um, I'm going to do two unboxings. I had two packages come in the mail today and why don't we do this one first because I think this is a knife. All right, let's open it up across the top here and pull the box out and yep yeah, Look there, it's a ZT, a real beast. Now you know I have had a ZT, I only have one. This is the ZT, I think it's the 561, and that's right, I remembered right. And this has been a load of fun, uh, mainly because it's a flipper action, but I like that large blade, it comes out with authority. And so I wanted to get another one and let's see which one I got. There you go. I don't know if my sleight of hand worked or not <laughs> because I actually unboxed this earlier. You know I can't wait to do an unboxing on video. So I actually took this out and I've been carrying it today. But this is a Rexford Design and it's the ZT801. I've watched other people's reviews of this knife and I decided I had to have one too. 
and I think I'm going to like it just as much and maybe even more than the uh, other one that I just showed you, the 561. It really has smooth operation. It comes out with authority. The handle to um, blade ratio is different. That's obvious right out of the box. And you know, this, this knife is very reasonably priced. $179, Now I bought this one on eBay. I don't usually buy knives on eBay. I'll either buy from some of my favorite stores, brick and mortar stores, or I'll go to an online store and buy. But that is a beautiful knife. I think I'm really gonna enjoy this one. It might become one of my top knives. And I'll give you a little hint. When I buy a knife, sort of the standards I use are knives like this one that I already own. You know, I do a video every year where I do my top 10 knives and I try to buy a knife that I think will break into that top 10. And I think this knife might. Only time will tell. All right, let's open up this package. Now this is not a knife. This is from Fitbit and it's a holder for my Fitbit. I won't take it out right now, but I will show you my Fitbit. Let's check and see how many steps I have today. 10,618 and after it stops raining, I'm gonna go out and walk a little bit more. But I've had, within a year of having this Fitbit, the um, tip broke off and the rubber is coming apart. And so it makes it very hard to use this. And so I wanted to order a replacement. I went online to Fitbit's website. And it's talking to me. I went online to Fitbit's website and just that case, this case right here cost $5, no, $15. It was $14.95, I think. And you know, that bothered me. So I called them and I said, that shouldn't wear out within a year, send me one. And they did. So I appreciated that. So anyway, I'm going to go walking, got a new case and got a new knife to fondle. Life is good. Who says that? Y'all take care.